I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North! You stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse-eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery, their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity, long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh! It's the time of madness and disdain. Geralt found Ciri at last, on the Isle of Mists where the Elven Mage had concealed her. There was no time to rejoice, for the wild hunt descended on them. They fled, Ciri teleporting them to Kir Morin, where their friends awaited. Long, lonely 
Winters breeds some pretty strange ideas. Breed some pretty strange ideas. I'm gonna have to thank Yen once this is all over. That spell... really something. And the invisibility. Hounds could sniff you out, so don't get too close. And you'll be visible as soon as you start fighting. Remember that. He always talked this much. Only when he's nervous. Good work with these bombs, by the way. Aim at the portals. Be precise. I'm out of Dimeridium. Yen mentioned casting the Erdin at the rifts. Said the sign could seal them. They're here. Time to say hello. Slow down. Element of surprise is key. Stay hidden. Give Triss a chance to show them what she can do. Then we'll hit him. 
mean to say Marigold can conjure up more than a cloud of butterflies. Lots more. Wait and see. Next time you get the feeling I'm about to piss off Marigold, make sure and knock me upside the head. We didn't fall in. Relax. Roach is good at this kind of warfare. Covers won't collapse under our weight. Hunt Rider in full plate. That's another story. Visible. We're going to try to kill him. Too risky. Pansy. What's with Marigold? Shit. to wait inside. I cannot hide forever. I must face them. Back inside now. No. Geralt gave the signal from the woods and Triss hasn't cast the spell. Damn it. All right, run to it.
Geralt! Detachment approaching from the woods. We need to close the gate before they get inside.
Thanks. Things were looking shaky. We had to fall back. They tried to get in from the main gate. I'm afraid they could succeed next time. Watch for that skull. We have to retreat. He's in trouble. I'm going to help him. Remember the stone I gave you. Set your ass down like you were supposed to. <laughs> Who would have saved yours then? by the walls. Get her! Hold them back! I must form a circle of vitality! We've got to close the portals. If we don't, we die.
sei.
I... I was too late to help him. It's not your fault. I should not have fled here to Kemoan. Avalark is weak, but alive. Triss is tending to the others. I nearly killed you. Killed everyone. We'd all be dead if not for you. No, Geralt. The hunt would never have come to Kaer Morhen if I wasn't here. Bezimir's funeral. We should prepare. ever died in his own bed. You don't know how it is to see someone you love die because of you, for you. We all knew what we were signing up for. Yes, and you saved me. For how long? A week? A month? We'll hide you, cover your tracks. No, I will flee no more. fail. For those who remain, death should never take precedence over life. Pay your last respects to your friend. Then we must hold counsel.
What's on your mind? Kaer Morin. Can't imagine this place without Vesemir. I'll head down the valley soon, then find somewhere else to winter next year. Come on, it's the only home we've ever had. Stay. No, Geralt. Place has been dying a while. Last nail in the coffin today. Time we accepted that. No reason to come back here. It's like Kaer Morin died today. Thank you. <laughs> Please. She was my ward, too. And the old should only ever stick around to help the young. You know, this hardly ends your struggle. I know. Whatever you aim to do now, remember you'll find souls willing to aid you in Skellige. Myself, Krach, his children. Don't really know what I'll do next. When doubts plague your mind, follow your instincts. Should they steer you wrong and land you in muck, you'll land at peace with yourself. And that's most important. Good advice. Bah, of course it is. I'm a hero fan, aren't I? I must pick a course for home soon. Take care of yourself, and Siri. Thanks again for everything. I'll remember your teachings always, and the sacrifice you made. That was tough. We managed. Thanks for helping. You're welcome. Would you consider staying at Kaer Morin? It'd be nice. At least for a while, till I figure out what's next. Agreed. Do it. So? Tell me. I can say I've seen it all now. I still don't believe everything that happened. Risked your lives for me. How can I repay you? We'll think of something. Right? Definitely. What will you do? We're bound for Novigrad. To fight the next fight. If you miss us, look for us at the camp. Thanks for everything you did for me and Siri. May I be honest? Had I known what would happen here, I'd never have come anywhere near Kaer Morhun. I'm glad I could help, but I shall leave as soon as Lambert feels better. You going together? I've an idea, but I need a Witcher to help me see it through. Lambert has agreed to assist me. Hmm. <laughs> Good luck, and thanks again. We're even now. Can we talk? What about? Try not to get into any arguments, can you? They've all come here to help. Are you gonna tell me how to behave now? No. Just asking you nicely. Well, how's this for a nice answer? Kiss my ass. Sheesh. Holding up all right? I love questions like that. Am I holding up? What? My dick? This is shit, Geralt, and you know it. I knew the old man couldn't live forever. <sighs> Even told Eskel that when it came time, I'd get his sword. Fits my hand perfectly, you know? But... Vesemir deserved a better death. Whereas he died like a louse. Crushed. We'll avenge him. Doesn't look that rosy to me. You haven't changed a lick. That disappointment, I hear? No. Surprise, maybe. Most grow gentler with age. Seems you're growing pricklier. 
Mom always said I was different. Had some other adjectives in mind, but different will do. See you later. Yeah, take care. There you are. Crying shame about Vesemir. I'm sorry. Thanks for your help. I had a debt to pay. Heading straight back to Skellige? Wouldn't be right to tarry. War with the Black Ones won't wait. You can count on me, you know. Always. I know. Thanks. Come to see how I'm feeling. Thanks. Not bad. That's good. Ah, son. Horrible about Vesemir. I know you were close. Thanks. We were. Listen, far be it from me to stick my beard, but it'll no scratch an itch. So don't take this the wrong way. I want to help, whatever you decide, but to my mind, we've got to counterattack. We've got to find the hunt, Eredin, and charge at them both like a bull at a heifer. Not that simple, unfortunately. We have no way of finding them. They find us easily. Can take us by surprise whenever they want. Forgive me, Geralt, but that's the blathering of a man who clearly can't snap out of it after a tragic loss. Drink it off. Sleep it off, whatever it takes. Just get yourself together and think things through. I'll do that, Sultan. Zurel can harness immense amounts of the power. Why has no one taught her to control this? Actually, some did teach her. Clearly to no effect. I'll gladly argue with you about this. Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help. And for looking after Ciri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Zirel from here, Haida. And then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care Morhen. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses. Archmistresses of magic. You mean the Lodge? Many of the Lodge's members are dead. The rest are in hiding. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, and Fringilla Vigo are likely still alive. And Francesca and Ida? Think they'd agree? I think they'll take convincing. Would you rather speak to Kira alone? That would probably be best. Don't trust the Lodge one bit, but doesn't seem like we have a choice. Because we don't. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again you plan without even asking what I think. I've had enough of this. I won't be taken somewhere like a bundle. I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding. You're right. Prove today you can take care of yourself. Easier to pat someone on the back and hope things will work out than it is to face the truth. Jirel possesses a great power she cannot control. She is a danger to herself, to others. Until she learns to control it, she should remain isolated. First of all, bollocks. Second, if you're going to speak of courage, at least address me directly and not through Geralt. I'm gone. Better go after her. Wait, she needs time. We must let her resolve her grief on her own. Then we should start training as soon as possible. 
She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary? You saw what happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya. Don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Sierra. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. We shall return to this later. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet either. Geralt, please, not now. <sighs> By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalar says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Tell me, how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. Hmm. There's a certain ancient method. Vesemir taught it to me, and Barman taught it to him. Will you take me into the mountains and make me drink hemlock? The Skellica druids have used it for centuries. It always works. Hey! You'll regret that. Hey, that's cheating. <laughs> Win. We'll see about that. You were 
right. That really works. Thanks. Glad to be of service. So what now? I'll go see where our dearest sage is. Saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen, Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlerith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. How do you learn all this? Imlarith? The Sabbath? Avilach. He told me of those who chase us. Claims knowledge itself can tip the scales. Come. We shall talk on the way. Lead on. Ready? Let's go. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the Ladies of the Wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the Baron thought the Ladies of the Wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the Baron is. He found his wife, took her away somewhere far. Anna, she was unwell. A true shame. We stand to find Imlarith here? You sure? Avilach told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the Crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eredin's behest, to order the Crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avilach were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlarith attends too, as the crone's guest. Seem to know it well. 
Havelock's a good tutor. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I've no idea why. Avalach claims vanity is Imlarith's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Caranthia, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalach's student. Serve the ladies. But he's an outsider. Let them approach. But they've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fire us down that away with food and drink aplenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. the gate said we wouldn't pass only the chosen visit the ladies every year young lads and lasses climb the mount but never more than three let me guess the young lads and lasses don't return no they return happy and radiant but rare is the one who then stays in Valen. off they go to seek fortune in the wider world ladies of the wood visit you if they favor us. My father told me they descended once, passed from fire to fire, listening to hopes and grievances. So each year, we wait for them to walk amongst us once more. Haven't done it in a long time, then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. This celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? No need for anger. The White Ones serve the ladies as we do now. We send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling, scared to death and about eight years old. Stay calm. enough about this. We've got other questions. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're afire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Already. That's him. We can never know. We each one use that word. If only their gifts are plentiful. Oh, I'm sure things that it's one true use. Yeah? Let me see what you're offering. So long. Oh, 
hard winter. Oaks will give plenty, don't ye fret. Hey, but for the year past, my grandmother said they came down the mountain just before day. <laughs> Good ladies, God's merciful ladies. My grandson, give him health. He works his share of mischief, but he's a good lad. Give him health. I beg you. Look, a child. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided though it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? What are you doing here? Last we met, you and the crones weren't exactly friends. I got an invitation I couldn't refuse, same as every year. In their peculiar way, the crones tolerate my presence and wish to see me at their Sabbath. So I come, wander about, and go home with the rising sun. What about you? We gotta climb a mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you. I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass, she is stubborn as you. Even more so. Figured as much. Oh. Path to the peak starts there, past the gate. But only old Thecla's got the key, so since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Good grief! You're worse than children! Three souls are allowed atop the mountain, and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. What good is he? Pretty damn good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice of reason. It'll tell you to turn back. There's no fooling with the ladies. We're here to find an elf named Imlarith. Siri thinks he might be a guest of the Crones. Big bloke, in full plate? Going the right way. He's atop the mountain, all right. You've seen him? Saw him in the bog first. Water froze beneath his horse's hooves. Then I saw him again yesterday, heading up this path. Why are you looking for him? He killed my friend. Wouldn't seek revenge if I were you. Even the ladies bow and scrape before that one. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck, and do hope we meet again, someday. Moons are rising, owls hoot. girl. Aye. What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. 
Never had a man. Never mind. Got me answer. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. Siri. Wonderful. Who wouldn't want to meet the ladies? My companion comes with me. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar and eyes like a viper. I stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. You misjudged me. I'm worthy as anyone. Girl? He's prior than any youth. Only smells like corpses because he kills monsters. And he'll kill any who stand in his way. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right you may appeal my choice. But to do so you must best the challenge. What kind of challenge? Tell him. You must descend into the cave and bathe in the waters below the earth. What's the catch? The water's deep. The water's murky. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defier's Aura. Now, bring me the coin.
I was beginning to worry. Come, let's get the key. Something's afoot. Something's nigh. They're back. What do you want? Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, gonna keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Mariko will open the gate for ye. Now go! Went smoothly. You weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. Stop one. You're a witcher. You've dived in murkier waters. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted a zoo boat. festivities begin and let them last till the crack of dawn something's afoot something's not that's it how would I come down to us this year hmm. not this year how would I come down to us this year ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, girl? What's yours? Uh, your name don't matter. Atop the peak, you'll lose it and get another. You may go. And you? I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it. The Defiers, Oren. A death sentence. No time to lose. I'll tend to Imlirith, you take the crones. Avalark said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. Damn it! Two out of three! Emlareth's a bigger threat than the Crones. I should face him. I'm no worse a fighter than you. We both know that's not true. Listen to me this once. But... No buts. Fine. Be careful. You too.
I must get down there. I guess I must jump. hundred years younger. You've talked enough. You don't.
must get down there. Welcome, we knew your... You've took... Summit. Gotta be.
said you would come. They saw you arrive in the water's surface. They did not see the girl, but she is with you, is she not? Both here. Where is the girl? Doesn't matter. You'll never get her. You fall to the bitter end. I trust this time will be no different. We did it. Barely. How'd it go down there? I slew only two of the crones. The third fled with Vesemir's medallion. My sole memento. You avenged Vesemir. Avalarch claims vengeance is only ever satisfying when served cold. He's wrong. Now to find Eredin and kill him. An Orin for your thoughts? Wondering what to tell Yennefer when we get to Novigrad. Tell her the truth. Always. I wonder if Triss and Yennefer have found the sorceresses at the lodge. We ought to rejoin them. Give me a minute. I'm old. Need more rest. Hmm. You are, and you do. Let's stay a bit longer.
So, off to Novigrad then. Give me a minute. I'm old. Need more rest. Let's stay a bit longer. So, off to Novigrad then. Give me a minute. I'm old. Need more rest. Let's... Feast. What of our acorns? I've got one. Take it. But one? What will we do now? This is no longer no man's land. It's no longer the lady's land. It's all yours. But what are we to do? Come, Geralt. It's time. Manage. On your own.
non-humans. Thought it was mages the hunters and the temple guard were after. Mages left. Hunters needed a new quarry. Hatred and prejudice will never be eradicated, and witch hunts will never be about witches. To have a scapegoat, that's the key. Humans always fear the alien, the odd. Once the mages had left Novigrad, folk turned their anger against the other races, and as they have for ages, branded their neighbors their greatest foes. Geralt had found you. Glad to see you in one piece too, Dandelion. Where have you two been? Just finished hunting down the crones of Velen and a general of the Wild Hunt. Well, you were a busy war, man, haven't you? In fact, you look terrible. Like you could really use some rest. Gladly take some. Point me to a room. Come on, little swallow. I'll take you. Let's meet later, girls. Have a little matter to resolve. I'll freshen up, then await you in the square in Gildorf. Right. Anything happened while we were away? Uh, pretty Polly came down with a fever. That oyster caught a knife between the ribs, and they're late delivering the sodden triple meat. Dandelion. Lodge of sorceresses. Triss and Yen were supposed to gather the remnants. They're working on it. Triss is upstairs waiting for you. Yennefer's gone to crippled Kate's. Yen? At that portside dive? Why? Didn't inform me. Imagine that. Ah, and that elf of yours moved into the ruby suite. Told me to tell you he's waiting too. Gave him your best room? He didn't exactly ask. I prepared another room for him, but he blew past me and locked himself in the ruby. Hasn't peeked out since. Barely eats, drinks only water, and the only thing I've heard from him is, I wish to know when Windblade and Zeriel arrive. Thanks. Looks like I'll have my hands full.
Greetings, I bear. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Listen, would you craft something for me? Listen, would you craft something? So long. Your kind spreads disease. Defeatism and desertion. What now? Hires all about soldiery in the city. And you go just that's where you Hey, 
Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. in the fatherland. Fuck. Run, Roach. Long live Radovid!
Personally, I like getting good and bollocks. Black pudding cures any hangover. Hey, Witcher! Ooh. How about joining our band? Oi, oh, mate! Your mug's not familiar. What is it you want? Looking for old Geert von Everick. Ah, that'll be inside. Ogird von Everick. I'm looking for him. None here by that name. Can't help wondering, who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats? Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. Cause we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The wild ones, folk call us. Owing to the boar in our coat of arms. I was told I'd find old Geert von Everek here. Someone's made an arse of you, brother. Ha <laughs> So maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mams. <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm Ogeard. Tell me, what brings you here? No, no, I'm Ogeard. You? Not likely. I'm Ogeard. <laughs> <laughs> You're all old geared, that it? Got it right, you last. One man split into three bodies. Not interested in his balls, so which of you's got his brain? <laughs> Not laughing. Guess that means you didn't get the brain. <laughs> Nope. I'm the one got his fists. Right in with our band of merry men. Come on, I'll take you to Old Geard. What do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. Bit of advice, Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet Old Geard, try and pique his interest. I gotta pique his interest. He's the one who wants a monster dead. Aye, but he don't need you to kill it. So, you want this job? You gotta grab his attention. And he's one to get bored mighty quick. You all right, Ducky? Ottoman, sir. You the guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her?
Frankly, gotta say I prefer the work of Pax Gernst. Ah, oh, the Kaviri School. Are you an Oxenfurt man? No. Know some folk who graduated from there, though. Ooh. I used to like Votticelli. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned. Not a flaw on its surface. Painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. <laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. Ataman Olgier. Long may he live. Long live the Ataman. Long live the Ataman. Long live the Ataman. Come and drink with us. Well, we haven't a choice now. Fetch us some wine, dear, and a nibble or two. This some special occasion, or just feel like feasting? Every occasion special. Today we celebrate a dubbing. Whose? Squire Herodor's new saber. I've hit on a name for her. Fair Sabre, I dub thee Traditiana! <laughs> Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Ooh. The way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Hey, she went to a fair with her sister or cousin, matters not. Daft wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the Oxenfurt sewers. And you know women, each craves a prince and will wade knee deep through shite to get him. Vissy was no exception in that respect. Now she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. Leave her be! Is there any way to treat the Lord of the Manor's daughter? Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, the contract. So, you'll check it. Just one formality to resolve first. My pay. Never you mind that. Return with the beast's head, and you'll have leave to take anything you wish for me. Awfully generous. Still, I'd prefer to agree a specific amount. Ooh, fine. How much would you like? Three? Four hundred crowns? Four hundred and fifty. Agreed. And that'll be in addition to whatever memento you wish to take. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. Name's Geralt. But I'm gonna call you Puss Peepers. That a problem? Get to the point. Got an offer. Potentially lucrative Puss Peepers. Someone's killed me mate. Name was Clivert. You're to figure out who did it. Then cut the bugger's head off. Why not avenge him yourself? Seems like you all relish swinging your sabres. Aye, we do. And if I knew who'd axed Clivert, I'd have gutted him ages ago. Thing is, I don't. But you see a lot with them puss peepers. You'll track him down. Keep talking. Clivert dealt fist tech. 
A few days past, he rode to Bowden to take a delivery. Never came back. Been there? Actually seen his corpse? No. But Cliver was one damned reliable orson. We was to meet. He didn't show. Can only mean he's dead. Find the bastard who did this. Find him and kill him. I'll pay top coin. Need to think it through. Clivert's got a scar on his forehead. Not unlike yours. Spot that, you'll know it's his body. Said I'd think about it. Know what, Puss Peeps? One look at a bloke and I know what he's made of. You'll do what I ask. I bet anything on it. Look for me in Oxenfurt. The Alchemy Inn on the main square. They eat that and drink and God in smoke and can bite kiss me and dance there. with lasses blind. Our Ottoman will lead and guide you. Never sure to find this eye. Greetings, Master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. Terrible beast prowls the sewers down that away. Best avoid it altogether. Devoured dozens of maidens, folks, eh? And many a ball fight has gone in and never come out.
No, 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 you don't. Hear me. Don't you dare. Please, don't do this to me. Shani? Geralt? What are you doing here? I'm trying to save his life. Help me! Shani, calm down. He's dead. I'm sure something can be done. Let it go. Damn it! All for nothing. You did all you could. Thanks, Geralt. It's, uh... Good to see you. You too. Lost track of you after I left Vizima. Where'd you go? What have you been doing? Long story short, I've been treating the sick and wounded, as always. Mainly at my clinic in Oxenfurt. But in Redania, I'm called on to help the army at times, as well. I'll want to hear the long story long, too. Sure. But, uh, once we're out of these sewers... Redanian army forced you to come here, too? Were you just down here for a pleasant stroll? Got our orders this morning. I came down here with a whole unit, but something attacked us. What attacked you? Get a good look at it? No. I started running as soon as it appeared. It was huge. Spat venom and made these slurping sounds. That's all I know. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a major necrophage or a pack of drowners. No. This was one thing. Big, but one. Somebody threw a torch at it. Monster couldn't have cared less. All right. Not afraid of fire. Good to know. The soldier. He's someone important to you? His name was Nalls. Supposed to go on leave next week. Now he won't. Nor will the rest of his unit. How many were they? A whole squad. Six brave boys. All dead. Why'd they send you down here? Only if it's not confidential, of course. I need a venom sample. From the beast that prowls these sewers. It doesn't just kill those who come down here, you know. The water in so many wells is contaminated. Folk are getting ill. Redanian soldiers among them. Plan to kill the beast. Bring you a sample of its venom after I do. Nice of you to offer. But I'd rather go with you. Collect the sample myself. Creature's dangerous. You saw what it can do? I'm a big girl, Geralt. I can take care of myself. And you know I'll get my way, so don't try and talk me out of anything. <sighs> Fine. Your choice. So show me where the monster attacked you. This way. Grating's badly bent. Something large struck it, with a lot of momentum. I shut it as I fled. The monster must have slammed into it. Glad it held up. Well, now we need to find a way around it. Is it worth searching outside? Actually, just hoping the monster's blow weakened one of the walls. Careful. Monster might still be here. Soldiers from your escort? Yes. That's them. Vern, Miklas. Oh, poor boys. Beast doesn't play around, apparently. They saved my life. What exactly happened? We came in here and Miklas started looking for tracks. Then drowners attacked. The men made quick work of them, but Franz was injured. His leg. He and I stayed behind. I tried to bandage him up while Nalls stood watch. Then that beast appeared. Nalls pushed me towards the exit and ran at the monster. I turned around and saw him lying there, covered in a sticky substance. 
I ran back to get him, then dragged him to where you found us. Where was the monster? Well, Miklas and Vern had driven it away from us. And paid dearly for it. Managed to get a look at what attacked you? Everything happened so fast. I didn't get a good look. No. Only saw it from behind. I know it was large and... slimy. Gotta look around. Man you patched up, is he here? Franz? I don't see him. Think the monster might have dragged him off? Could have. Hmm. He's probably crawled in or out through here. It's deep. Lower level of the sewers has been closed off for years. But Vern, the commander, had a skeleton key. See if I can't find it. Got the key. Good. Let's get going. Another unfortunate romantic came to lift a prince's curse, found a hideous death instead. Shawnee, watch out! Move! do that. Does that mean anything? Well, means our monster doesn't attack them. Seems they get along with whatever's prowling the sewers, some kind of symbiosis. Hmm, interesting. What? Franz had a leg wound, right? Mm-hmm. Just above the knee. Managed to apply anything to it? Yes. Some spirit, but that was it. Why do you ask? Look, half of Franz's leg is gone. Monster must have chewed it off. Other bodies were untouched, except for the wounds they sustained in battle. Are you suggesting... the beast likes alcohol? Mm-hmm. Mixed with blood. Doubt we'll learn anything else here. We need to find the lair. Right behind you. Hmm. Odd 
smell. A blend of alcohol, blood, and watch out for stench. You must have come Show me what you got. Another unfortunate romantic came to lift a prince's curse, found a hideous death instead. A woman must have come here hoping to find her prince. Monster left via this tunnel. We'll never make it through there. Need to find another way. Shani, can you get your sample here? Sure. Along with a bunch of dirt, rubble, and drowner droppings. I need a clean sample. From the lair. That'd be best. Watch out. Move! Tolerated them. As long as they don't get too close, I guess. Lair's gotta be nearby. Decaying corpses, slime everywhere, and that stench. This has to be the lair. Fresh and moist. Beast was just here. I'll collect my sample. Huh. All the tunnels and corridors converge here. What now? Need to lure the beast. How? We don't even know what kind of monster it is. But we do know it likes a blend of blood and liquor. Just so happens I've got some alcohol on me. Well, I hope you don't plan to cut yourself or... Relax. Plenty of bodies. I'll use one of them. Sample you collected enough? Hope so. But I'd still like to get some pure venom. Once you've killed the monster. To distill an antidote? No use for it once the beast's dead. Not true. I have a few poison patients on hand. Besides, I can study the venom, test it, maybe discover some interesting properties. I'll get to work. Hmm. I doubt I'd be much help in the fight, but you might need me afterwards. I'll look for a hiding place. You'd be better off waiting for me up top, or back home. But- No buts. Wait in the passage for now if you have to, though I'd rather you didn't. But when the monster shows, you run for the surface. Ugh, fine. Shani, look at me. Promise you'll stay out of it. I promise. Good. Now go hide. Be careful, Geralt.
Galla weg, Karl! Gadarash, I'll whoop! come to. And he can speak human, turns out. I started thinking I'm not conversing common the whole way. Except maybe with my reflection in the piss bucket. Where... Where am I? On the Albatross. Or the Fak Bath Isle. It's their strange tongue, is it? En route to a fear. Don't remember signing on as a sailor. <laughs> oh, you didn't, mate. They dragged you aboard. Seems you killed their prince. in the sewers. Damn it. Should consider myself lucky, I guess. Could have killed me on the spot. Depends how you look at it. Happen to know a bit of a theory. Heard them saying they come here on a mission, dispatched by their king, to find their prince. Lift his curse. Wager their honor, and that of their families five generations back, that they'd bring him home, safe and sound. And I killed him. Great. So... Must think they can save their honor by bringing the prince's murderer back to face the king's justice. And who might you be? Felipe Calagrand, at your service. Bet you think? Professional fate. And your guide about Oxenford. One other bit of time. Mm -hmm. And why are you here? You kill a prince too? Well, to their thinking, I had a hand in this one's death. See, I was their guide led them down into the sewers. But not until after you'd cut their prince's gut open. Sorry about that. Not your fault, mate. When all said and done, could have sat on my ass in the alchemy playing Gwent. Didn't have to brag about knowing Oxenford better than my own breeches. We been at sea long? Dunno, Riley. Not that long. Though, on the other hand... <laughs> but what's it matter, any role? Matters a lot. If they're hauling me off to hang me, I'm not in a hurry to arrive. Hey, I'm glad to be silent to a fear. I hear they got wild horses there. Why? With black stripes. Always wanted to see one of them. Sure they're not. Black horses with white stripes? Nay. Hey, black horses with white stripes they got in Zangwebar. That I'm sure of. Listen, there was a young woman, a medic, red hair. They capture her too? Don't recall seeing anyone of the sort. You were alone. Good. Means she managed to flee. Hopefully made it home. Tried to break out yet? Uh, used every ounce of charm I got. Nothing doing. Might be Maya Fury's, Rusty. Maya Fury's non-existent. Well, we'll be at sea at least a month. Could teach you something that time. El Carl! Oriyal! What's that mean? Told us to shut up. There's been a misunderstanding. I talk to you, Captain. Alakal Sorkar, Galavat Kar, U Albata again. Quiet, dog. You killed our prince, and you'll pay for that. Gileam Valar, Kar Varefaner. You'll be dead already. Rev Hagar, Ne Aram Ekar. Vengeance is not ours to reap, Anna. Torgate Ze Alami. We swore on our honor. How do I say? Take me to your captain. Valth Alakhe Ul Egulath. What? El Kal! Vyoth. Vyoth. Alche, il, echalif. El kal. In kal avr ikel u geherev nul vitar. In shafal kolayav. What just happened? What did he say? Said to sit quiet. And that you'll hang in two weeks. And then he added something like. We'll see who's in the mood for jokes, then. Why? What did I say? That you wanted his auntie's hat. That was the gist of the road. Great. Give it a rest. No point talking to that lot. All you get is angry gurgles. And they puff up, you notice? Like them fish. 
was it they're called? There anyone here who speaks common? Ah, oh, there's this mercenary with him. Looks Adanian to me. He's the one recruited me to show him through the sewers. Oh, and the mage what leads them knows a bit. Heard him talking. But I doubt either will talk to you. Uh, I was you. Catch them, shut I. Not go on flapping my tongue. Got a long voyage ahead. Sleep's not what I need. Someone I can actually communicate with. That's what I want. Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? I remember. We met in White Orchard, your... Gauntero Dim, known also as Master Mirror. I helped you find your Jennifer. We meet again. And it seems you need my help again. Heard a noose awaits you. That is, if this slop doesn't kill you first. I haven't tried it yet. Mm. Doesn't look promising. Not unlike your situation. I could try to extract you from here, you know. Because you do wish to disembark, do you not? Yeah, sure. But what on earth could you... Oh, more than you'd ever expect. I shall help you again. But before I do, I must know you return the favor. Right. Can't possibly get something for nothing. Indeed. When all's said and done, I am a merchant. So, do you want my help? Yes. It's a deal. Once it's all over, we shall meet at midnight at the crossroads, meet the willows near the village of Yatra. Ah, and I must give you something to remember me by. What's that? A mark to show we're associates. Gabbing with you. With no one. Oh, never like moats. Not one bit. I heave like devils. Make me stomach churn. Oh, it'd be prime to sleep through the whole thing. Didn't bargain for no storm, but where that means a tidy jump in my feet. To Ophir get us safe. The king's reward will be generous. What about the prisoner? Before the king we must bring him. On doing so, my honor relies. Can we just bring your king the bastard's head? Like we do with the other? We have them drop. We could do nothing. We deliver live this one. Apart from all else, the hell the king is sure to condemn him to. I need to see that. What kind of hell? Barring, slaying, and watering. This is from regicide of the
Good. Oh! Oh! 